Some traditional owners and tour operators in WA's northwest say they feel like they are the front line of border protection. Because we've been seeing them uh, for many months, but other Australian authorities have just struggled to find them. When four foreign fishing vessels were found in the mangroves at Koori Bay on Tuesday, locals said they had to guide authorities. We gave the Australian Navy personnel, uh, I guess, the intel, and we proceeded to look for them ourselves, knowing the country intimately, and we, we started finding the Indonesians. In June, Border Force officials picked up 15 illegal foreign fishers and seized two fishing vessels west of the Torres Strait. The agency said it was running an ongoing rapid response operation with increased staffing, patrol vehicles and aircraft. But it's what isn't being picked up, particularly in the economically rich area of the nation's northwest, that's a major concern for the WA government. It's a massive coastline and it's also a coastline, of course, through the Pilbara that produces a lot of our economic wealth. So we have always said that we need a bigger presence to help protect that coastline. Border protection has emerged as a critical issue in the Kimberley in recent years. With increased rates of illegal fishing and the arrival of asylum seeker vessels in recent months attracting national attention. But how can this be the case? Well, well it's the case because Anthony Albanese pulled money out of aerial surveillance and maritime surveillance. Just weeks after taking over the home affairs and immigration portfolios, all eyes are now on the Federal Minister Tony Burke. He's declined to comment, describing it as an operational matter. Locals say it's only a matter of time until they'll find more boats. Roseanne Maloney, ABC News, Broome.